is Matthew Aninu from University Science Malaysia. Today in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to perform HVLC analysis. HVLC analysis involves multiple steps, mainly three stages. One is the uh, sample preparations. Second step is the solvent preparation. And third one is the analysis. That is the sample analysis itself. So I'm going to start with the solvent preparation, which involves um, mobile case preparations that we are going to use in our sample analysis. In this stage, we are going to prepare our sample by filtering it and then degas it and then get it ready for analysis. Okay. So in this stage, what we need is uh, HPLC filtration apparatus, which include plaques, clam, reservoir, funnel base, nylon of 0 0.45 micrometer, and vacuum pump. This pump the complete HPLC mobile pest filtration unit. So I'm going to demonstrate how we are going to assemble and then subsequently filter the sample. First of all, we are going to mount the filter gently on the filtration chamber. It should be at the center. Okay, then carefully put the upper system gently. Then there's a clip that's going to bind the upper and the lower chamber together. Then you have to gently mount the two together. After that, then gently mount the upper system on the manical flux. Having done that, then you attach the tooth, the form tooth on the filtration units. Make sure it is tightened properly because uh, it works best on the high pressure that is generated by the form to allow the solution to pass through. So having done that, then we are going to pour our filtration uh, uh, solution, our mobile case, into the filtration chamber for the filtration. Then you gently on the system, then you switch on the phone. When the solution is fully filtered, then you can switch up the machine and then gently rotate clockwise, then lift it off gently, then carefully put it back in the clean chamber. Make sure before you start, the chamber is clean, is free of any dust. Then you fall. If you are not sure of the cleanliness of the bottle, as a precaution, you try and rinse the bottle with a small portion of the more filtered mobile face, yes? like this, as a precaution, so that if there is any uh, trifurticle, this will help you get rid of it. Then you discuss. You discard. This is a non-hazardous chemical, so I can easily discard it in a sink. Then you gently pour in the filtered solvent back into the HVLC bottle. 
this is our ready-made filtered label um, mobile face then before it's get fully ready for analysis then we have to sonicate this solvent so that we get rid of any trapped air in the solvent I'm going to explain only the general fact that that is common to all sample preparations. This is my sample already prepared, and this is the by which I'm going to transfer my sample in, and this is the syringe that I'm going to use for the filtration of my sample. So first of all, I'm going to label my sample by. Okay, having done that, then I'm going to inject my sample into the vial. So I want to explain one thing. Depending on the volume of the sample, then you select the appropriate volume. This is the minimum volume that each sample must reach. I mean, it cannot be below this, this 0 0.5. I mean, each sample must reach at least 0 0.5 ml for the HYC uh, needle to be able to reach and withdraw the sample for analysis so as a precaution you always try and make sure that your sample reach at least up to the around the maximum that is 1.5 or at least or at least 1 ml for a profile analysis in case where you have a very little sample uh, to, 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 to you to run then there's a insert there's an insert available which you can use. This is a, I think uh, it can, uh, it can be used for a sample that are very little in nature of less than one ml. So you can insert your sample here and mount the insert, insert in the HVLC bind as such, and make sure it is mounted at the center. Then gently tighten the cuff on the vial and that is it so in this case i don't need vial because i have sufficient uh, sample with me so i don't need uh hvlc insert i'm going to uh, filter my sample directly into the vial this is the syringe and you need this membrane filter they come in different sizes and different four sizes and from different uh, uh, manufacturers. So today I'm going to use the most commonly used HVLC membrane for sample. So I'm going to withdraw the sample from the syringe. Then having done that, then I'm going to mount the membrane filter on the syringe. I'm going to tidy it. You roll clockwise. Having done that, then you take the vial and gently. It's always advisable to discuss the past few ml. You discuss it. My sample is not hazardous, so I can directly discard the past few ml into the sink. Okay. Then I'm going to add. A sample directly into the vial. Okay, so my sample is around 0 0.5 ml, which is adequate for analysis. I tighten my bag and it's ready for analysis.